Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRAdAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our test project course. And in this video, we'll be talking about all about test projects API. So test project has lots of API. Well, if you can see test project itself can run with just API. So test project has a rich set of API's and they are very, very sophisticated to do almost everything you can do in test projects platform. I mean, most of them, something like you can spin up an agent, you can get the details of an agent, you can spin up a job, you can create a job or you can run a job. Similarly, you can run a test, everything you can do right from test projects API. So test project API itself is one place where you don't even have to have test project platform to be open in a browser. You just have to install the test project agent and you can just spin up this APIs you're done guys that's it you that makes your test project to be working for you within itself again test project api is now in v2 so which means this version is more upgraded more sophisticated and right now test project team has given all the api for free so once this project was acquired by tricenti's team some of the apis were actually for the professional plan but right now all the pro plan is available for free and that's the power of test project. So test project team always says that this platform is going to be always free forever with all the features, which is something makes test project much, much different from other testing tool available on the planet right now. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my test project platform right now. All right. So as you can see, this is the test project platform that we were using all these days. And now in order to access the APIs, you need to go once again to the integration, pretty much like how we did in our earlier video for the webhooks. But in here we have something called as API. So if you remember this API key we used while doing the CI CD for integrating with the Jenkins, this is exactly the same API key place that we are looking at right now. But just that there is something called as an API documentation. So this API documentation will take you directly to the V2 of the test projects uh, API which is currently available. And you can see it has all the way that you can get the details of an agent. Similarly, you can manage an application operation, something like uh, getting to the application's uh, details uh, by specifying the project ID and then creating a new application, then returns a specific application, update an application, delete an application, and then get an upload URL for an application, confirm file uploaded, remove the application file. Similarly, these are all for the jobs. You can see it creates the job, return a specific job, update, delete, uh, and then edit almost everything you can do from in here. And then you can update the project's parameter on the fly, and then you can manage the project, and then you can access some of the reporting stuffs and test packages. So all these options are currently available for you in here within test project. These are very, very handy while you work for other complex integration, like if you want to integrate this with the Azure DevOps or Jenkins and stuff. We'll be talking about that in our upcoming videos of this course, but as of now, just bear in mind that these APIs are pretty, pretty handy and do almost everything for you. So for instance, if I want to get the details of the agent, so now if I try it for free and if I try to execute this, this is for sure going to fail by this time because the authentication is kind of empty. So in order for that to happen, I mean the authentication to happen, we need to pass the authentication header, which is the API key. Again, the API key is something which we already know. There is something, this API key available for me. So I can just copy this API key and then I can paste it over here and then authorize this way. The authorization has happened. And now if I try to execute this particular, uh, command you can see that it returns me all the agents which is currently available within my platform so for instance the latest agent is also available which is currently running within my uh, current machine which is pretty awesome right this is how you can get the details of an agent similarly if you want to get the details of a specific agent you can pass the agent uh, name and the parameter and then you can get it uh, similarly if you want to get the jobs which is running within the project ID, you can get that as well. So for instance, if I just try it out, uh, you can see it's looking for the project ID. And again, guys, we have already discussed this about as well in our earlier videos. Now, test project platform, if you go anywhere, you can actually get its ID. This is sp specifically built mainly for the API purpose. So for instance, if you want to get the project ID for this job, you can go to the test project and this three dot you can see in here for the more option, 
you can see that there is something called as copy ID. So this copy ID can then be helpful for you to be passed over in here. And then if you try to execute this, this will give you all the details of that particular project. So you can see it turns me all the jobs which is currently available within that particular project. So now you can get all these details. Similarly, if I want to execute a particular job, for instance, this one, run a job. This is very, very interesting, right? This is what something we really need to do. So in order to do that, I just kind of tried out. It looks for a job ID. It also looks for the project ID, the one which we just copied. And now within this particular project, we have many jobs, which we know. So we can just copy one of the job ID, uh, something like this. You can see we can also copy the ID from a job and go in here. I can paste that. And it also looks for the agent ID because we have to supply this uh, for some reason. Uh, so I'm just going to go to a particular agent over here. And then I can copy even the agent ID from in here. And then I can paste this guy over here. And then I can hit this execute. So once I do this execution, you can see that the job would have been started by now. You can see that it is going to spawn a browser. There you go. And then it is going to start running the test for us. So now if I go to the test project, you can see the monitor is now blinking, which means there is some job which is currently running, which is nothing but the one we just spawned. Uh, and let me go back. You can see it's currently showing us the Amazon run job type is currently running. So you can see it's happening. So this is how we can see that we could able to execute a test using test projects using an API. So we can do the same exact thing, which means not just from the Swagger documentation, which is currently available, but also from the Postman, if you have one. So I have a Postman just been set for getting the uh, projects uh, list. So if I just send it, you can see it gives me the list of projects. Similarly, if I want to create a job, I can specify the exact same thing in here uh, for the project, for the uh, and for the jobs which I'm going to be running and the agent ID. And if I send this thing, it just execute that for us. So everything can be done from the API as you can see in here. So it is currently running uh, this particular test as well. So this is how we can see that we could able to run a test much, much easily from an API of test project. So API is very, very rich. It does everything for us indefinitely like how to be executed from the test projects API, which is pretty awesome. And this is something which makes test project more accessible from the outside world. So you can use this test projects API for integrating with CI CD and calling a third party applications to trigger executing the test within test project. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.